Selena Larson at The Daily Dot reports on a new study claiming that virtual reality therapy might help some patients with spinal cord injuries achieve partial recovery. The research is in scientific reports, says a woman who had been paralyzed from the waist down for 13 years has regained some control of her legs after using the new VR brain machine treatment. Uh, this is aggressive training. Uh, it uses brain-controlled robotics and asks patients to visualize moving lower limbs and then use their EEG activity to control avatars in virtual env environments. The level of recovery is being heralded as unprecedented in patients with long-term paralysis. This is un this is just unbelievable. I, I love the thought, and we've talked plenty of times about VR, you know, AR and VR moving beyond just this thing that's fun to play around with and, and you know, experience games in or whatever and actually have other uses that we don't really understand. Like this is this is pretty fascinating what they, they're trying to figure out why this is working the way it is. And the way what they're coming up with is the thought that, you know, in this uh, in, in the process of paralysis for paraplegics, that maybe there's still some active with some connected fibers in the spinal cord that weren't detected that just aren't being used anymore they've basically forgotten how to work because of the level of you know the paraplegic you know experience i don't know what the word is for that um but that by doing this they're essentially working with the brain to help retrain just those limited amount of fibers uh in order to do what what they do so you know are you going to get a full fully walking once paraplegic person out of this I don't know. Early signs probably point to no because they still lack a lot of that uh, that content in their in their spinal cord. But getting anything where there was absolutely nothing is pretty phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they say that they you know might get basic function that could help them live a you know a, a different life. Um, so yeah, and the cost of these VR and haptic systems is not that high mm -hmm. so that that's the thing that they're also looking at like this could be more widely available right um so the study was done by dr miguel nicolesis at duke university it's called the walk again project really interesting stuff yeah life life changing to say the least i also wonder just how awesome it must be because i mean this you know it's, it's not just putting on the vr helmet it's also this exoskeleton and kind of you know, the body moving in space and everything timed with what they're seeing in their VR goggles. It's got to be such a crazy experience for someone who has not moved their limbs in this way, possibly ever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm sure in some cases they did once before and now all they have are memories of what it was like to do that. To put themselves into this virtual experience where they once again get to remember or experience that. Again, that's just so awesome. Mm -hmm. It gives me chills. Goosebumps. You know, go away, goosebumps.